Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be sharing a video which I have been wanting to do for the longest time. I'm going to be sharing some ideas for your morning routine, ways that you can make your morning routine productive and set yourself up for a really great day. And in preparation for this video, I have examined the morning routines of successful people, um, seeing what people tend to do, collating some of those into this video. This video is also very kindly sponsored by Facebook and namely their She Means Business campaign, which is all about empowering women into business and empowering female entrepreneurs. It's such a cool campaign and super inspiring too. The most recent development in their campaign is the publication of this book, Make It Work, Lessons from Life and Business. Nicola from Facebook has collated this book where 14 successful women give their advice and their stories and it's so like I feel so inspired after having read this. I've been going through my coffee and highlighting loads of top tips and inspirational quotes and don't judge me yes I do write in my books. One of my favourite quotes is this one. I see nowadays that there's a great pressure on young people to work out what you want to do straight away but I think only a few of us have a clear vision from the beginning about what we want to do. The rest of us spend a little time while figuring it out and that's totally normal. I've also been taking on top advice from the people in this book and implementing it into my own routines. I was reading through what Karen Blackett, this is Karen Blackett. I was reading through her advice and her main lesson is the importance of having a personal brand in order to take control of your career. And this is something which she sets out so nicely, like she gives on things you need to reflect on in order to build your personal brand. It's basically to make sure that you're always acting with integrity to yourself and your morals and your values. So I've taken the time to start a page in my book of inspiration, which you will see later in the video. And I've basically been brainstorming my personal brand. Links to the ebook and to online resources and the website for She Means Business will be down below in the description box. So do check that out if you are interested. I genuinely would recommend this. I have had such a huge like dose of motivation and inspiration after reading this. I'm going to be separating this video into sections and the first section is waking up. The number one thing I will say is that most of the morning routines that I examined were very early. They were from early rises. People who wake up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 4 a.m. I think the average was around 5, 5.30. I totally see why this is the case because I always feel so much more productive when I do wake up early. But then you've got the whole question of how do I wake up early? And there are three main tips which I would like to share with you. So my first tip is to wake yourself up naturally by sunlight. And this is especially good going into the warmer months where obviously the sun is rising earlier. I sleep with my curtains open and this means that the sun naturally wakes me up in the morning. The second thing which I would recommend is putting your phone outside of your room, which again is something that lots of people do. It basically means that to turn it off you have to get out of bed, which is definitely the hardest bit. And then tip number three really does lead on from that. I've recently got into the habit of using an app called Alarmy, where you set your alarm and then to turn the alarm off you've got to complete a challenge. So one which I use most often is having to scan a barcode, so it just means you have to get out of bed. So it's good to do something immediately when you wake up and here are some ideas of things that you could potentially do as soon as you're out of bed. One thing I like to do is make my bed and it's like a small accomplishment. It's something small that you've done and it just makes you feel a lot more put together and ready for the day. The second thing I always love to do in the morning is get some fresh air. Usually that just means opening up my window but I saw morning routines of people who immediately as they wake up go outside, like go on a walk and take their dog on a walk. I like to do that in the summer but not so much in the winter. Some people like to journal as soon as they wake up just to get their brains working, to put things on paper to get ideas flowing. Another really popular choice, especially in the last few years, has been meditation. So taking five minutes to just think and reflect and sit down, be really present, collect your thoughts and set your mind up really well for the day ahead. You could play music when you wake up, something really motivating, something that you love listening to, uh, start the day on the right foot. I do this sometimes and personally I like to play my favourite film scores, classical music. It's just a lovely calming way to start the day. It sets myself up for a calm and collected day.
One of the first things I do every morning is drink a large glass of water uh, just to rehydrate the body. I like to have like ice cold water and it always really wakes me up because you can feel the icy water flooding into your system. It's just really invigorating. And then on the same grain as that, uh, having a cold shower is something I like to do. At the beginning of the year, I was doing it every morning and I've got to say I did get out of the habit of that when it started to get freezing cold, but I would recommend it. It's a really great way to start your day. It's going out of your comfort zone to do something. Starting with that in the morning, it just, it sets you up for a good day. It sets you up for a day where you are going to take yourself out of your comfort zone. So next, after you've done one or a few of those things, one thing that loads of people had in their morning routines when I was looking, especially at CEO morning routines, was exercise. Lots of the people I was looking at said it was because if they didn't do it then, they wouldn't find time to do it. So it ranged a lot, like, 10 minutes to an hour. So personally, I like to do a quick ab workout in the morning. And if you do exercise in the morning, maybe have your cold shower after. Then after that, getting ready is the next thing to do. And then next, the most important part of any morning routine, of course, breakfast. So I was actually surprised at just how many people had coffee as a staple part of their morning routine. I don't drink coffee so it's not a part of mine. I sometimes like to have like a matcha tea or a green tea. Breakfast ideas, um, I came across quite a few. Margaret Thatcher only had half a grapefruit and a coffee which definitely would not be enough to keep me going. Um, I love to have a really big hearty breakfast which fills me up for the whole of the morning. I don't get distracted by hunger and need to snack halfway through the morning. I can focus entirely on my tasks. My go-to is either um, like a nourishing smoothie, a yogurt bowl, porridge of course, scrambled tofu maybe on toast if you want that protein. And these are very much in line with the things that I saw, apart from Margaret Thatcher. So now for some other things that you could do in the morning. These are habits that you might want to implement into your morning routine, which some successful people have in their morning routines. I read a really interesting um, idea. Someone was talking about their hour of power, which is basically a whole hour of motivation. I do think it's important to have like just a little section of your morning routine dedicated to looking forward and being motivated, getting excited. When we feel inspired, we do better work. And I saw lots of variations of this, people who would look on Pinterest in the morning, people who would reflect on their life goals. One thing I really liked was having an ideas book and then every morning looking over this ideas book, things that you want to do, adding new things, seeing if you can take actionable steps towards completing some of those other things. I mean, this is something I do but never done in the morning, so I'm going to start doing this in the morning now. I think it's a really great way to start your day. I have a book which is basically my life goals planning inspiration book and it's got my life bucket list on there it's got my priorities my personal goals i've started looking over this in the morning because it really does get you excited okay so moving on from that another thing which you might want to do in the morning check your emails reply to emails lots of the morning routines i was looking at said it was really important just to get those little things done but also not to spend too long on emails because it's easy to get bogged down with them next reading the news this was on probably 80 or 90 percent of the routines that i looked at taking time to read through a few different papers another key component was spending time with family i'm so glad that this was such a recurring element because it is important to have those social interactions in the morning yeah just even if it's sitting down for breakfast with your family maybe you walk to campus with someone but just giving yourself that, that time for that social interaction you might want to do a power pose i love doing power poses in the morning it's supposed to release adrenaline which basically means that you feel more invigorated for the day out at school we were told you know before a job interview you should always do a power pose so that you go in with that confidence also practicing positive affirmations can be really great. Try to get into the habit of doing this. I don't do it every day, but I have tried to start doing it more often. Speaking things into existence, the more you tell yourself something, the more true it becomes to you. I am lucky and I am grateful for the family I have. I am positive, I am happy, I am going to have a good day. Gratitude journaling is also a great thing to do in the morning. If that's your baseline for the day, it means that you start here because you're already grateful for so much.
lots of people also recommend reading in the morning. Um, I like to do this whilst I'm brushing my teeth. Depending on the time of year, I'll do this in bed before I get out of bed. Um, but reading, especially if you don't find that you have the time for reading the rest of the day, the morning can be a good time to put aside just 10, 15 minutes to sit down with something. Another thing you could do is networking. I'm challenging yourself every morning to reach out to one person on LinkedIn or email. Okay, and then with that done, uh, the next thing is to get on to work. So I like to plan my days with my study planners. This is my little stationary business. I make st make these study planners. I use these to plan my study days. So in the morning, before I get started with work, I will go through this and I will write up my to-do list and my timetable and plan and get ready for the day so that I am structuring my day in such a way that I'm not gonna procrastinate, I'm not gonna waste time, I know what I'm meant to be working on that day and I can make sure that I do accomplish that. Hopefully this video was helpful. I am really excited to be sharing it with you and thank you so much to Facebook for partnering up with me. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you have a productive week.